Today, for our viewing pleasure, we have the newest Mail Day video. So all these packages were sent to me from you, the subscribers, the viewers, and from companies. So once in a while, once I get, you know, half dozen or so packages built up, we do a Mail Day unboxing. So this is probably six to eight weeks worth of packages that were sent to me from you guys. And it's time to unbox all this stuff in one video and see what goodies have been sent to me. People ask from time to time, how can I send you stuff? Or companies want to send me stuff. It's too easy down below in the description box to this video. So below the video and above the comment section, there's a, a description box, drop it down. And there is my UPS store mailbox where you can send anything that you'd like. Stuff to promote your company, or if you just want to send me something to unbox on camera, you can even send me letters. I have letters that people send me. And I actually do have a letter today that I received also. So you ready to do this? Let's get started. First package. We're just gonna keep this moving, keep this going. First package. First pack, this is actually from the company Extinction Toys. So when I got this, I had to double check. Like all these went to my UPS store mailbox where I actually have my business mailbox, you know, for business and for viewers. I had to make sure, I was like, yeah, I didn't buy anything from them, did I? Nope. So this obviously has to be a care package from Extinction Toys. So let's see what they sent. Looks like there's a letter on top. Well, bam, says, Dear Franchise Kicks, I've been a longtime viewer and love all your videos. I've started my own small business selling Funko Pop mystery boxes, some for as cheap as $10 a box. With free shipping of more than $50 is purchased. My store link is www.extinctiontoys.myshopify.com. Hopefully one day my company will hold the honor of being your warm-up Funko Pop mystery box. So make sure you check them out. I'll leave a direct link down below to Extinction Toys. So he did send me a mystery box and he sent me my favorite basketball player of all time and i keep all my jordan funko pops you can't see it above all my jordan shoes my sneakers up here are probably like 30 jordan funko pops that have been released i keep all my jordan stuff because i actually have a pretty massive jordan collection not just shoes i've got collectibles i got autographs jersey shirts stuff from my childhood and a bunch of pops so nice Thank you, I appreciate that. From Extinction Toys, check them out. Next, this is from Tyler Bennett. He's actually sent me a few packages. Looks like, I think this is actually, I think he said it was gonna be a comic book mystery box, I think. Pretty sure that's what he, he told me. He uh, emailed me, reached out, let me know he sent me a package. Yeah, Tyler Bennett, he sent me a few now. So I'm excited to see what is in these. Oh, open first, gotcha. It says, Dear Franchise Kicks, I'm Tyler Bennett. You can say my name on the video. Here's a few comic books that you can add to your collection. I'm not sure if you have them already. And when will you be bringing back the comic book videos? Well, actually, all my comic book videos are actually on my other YouTube channel, Franchise TV. A lot of people don't realize I actually have two YouTube channels. This channel, my, my main channel, Franchise Kicks. I have a second channel called Franchise TV, where I do all my comic book stuff is on that channel now. Trying to keep some of my content different on that channel some of the franchise tv will have some overrun from this channel like whenever i get too many videos made i'll just throw them onto my franchise tv for extra content but there are some exclusive only content on my franchise tv channel that you will not see here like comic book related stuff Let's see oh nice that looks awesome that was back in the 90s right there superman back for good yeah, this is it's October 93. That's awesome. I used to actually, um, I collected comics from 80s through the mid 90s. And I actually was buying quite a bit of the Superman comics back, you know, whenever he died. And of course he came back from, from the dead because nobody in comics is truly ever dead. They always come back. But that's all. I do not have this. I will actually add this to my Superman collection. I will be keeping it. That is a super cool cover. Look at that cover. That is so nice with, with that hollow foil, like foil cover to it. That's nice. That's awesome. I like that. Next, we have Robin number one, November of 93. If you know me, you already know I'm a huge Batman collector. And Batman and Robin go hand in hand. I don't have this. I will add this to my personal combo collection. Once again, another really cool, like a foil 90s cover. And we got another Robin 1 of 5 from say, January of 91. These actually look to be in fantastic condition, too. You took care of, your, care of your comics. First three comics, I love them all. They will all be going to my personal collection. 
My favorite cover in this one, though, is the Superman with that uh, kind of the cyborg Superman behind him. Thank you. That first box was incredible. Box number two. That first box was a lot of fun. Everything. I collect Superman. I collect Batman. You know, Batman and Robin. I don't know if this box can, can beat your first one. <laughs> we'll find out, though. That was really cool. That was a good, good box. We got some stickers. We have Dick Tracy Weekly Series. I've never seen this one. Dick Tracy Comics. Next, we got Shadow Riders number one, Marvel. Featuring Cable. Next one, we have Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. I do already have this, but I'm more than happy to add a second copy to my personal collection. Turok, number one, Valiant. This last one, it's still factory sealed. It says, Back from the Dead, Adventures of Superman. No, this actually, this is not the death one. I gotta keep it sealed, though. Factory seal. I do have uh, the actual death one where it's like black or, or like it's it's like factory seal where it's black with like a bloody logo on it. I have that one. This one I'll have to research. This says 64 page Adventure Superman number 500 with removable translucent cover. I don't have this. I'm happy to have this. I will keep this in my collection. So Tyler Bennett, I appreciate you once again. This is actually from a company that was sent to me. Oh, nice. Mayono Premium USB Microphone. Okay, I remember now. I'll have to make sure to leave a direct link down below to the Amazon page where this is being sold at. But yeah, they reached out to me uh, maybe like a month ago and asked if, if I'd be interested in, in, in receiving a microphone to unbox on camera. And I actually might use this in a future video. Actually, it looks like a pretty nice, pretty nice microphone. Be awesome for podcasting. Nice. That actually looks pretty freaking nice. So brand is M A O N O, Mayono. Nice. I appreciate you. I like make sure down below leave a link to this company. Check it out. That looks like it is called the Mayano Fairy Premium USB Microphone. Next, let's actually let's crack this letter open up. I don't want to say that person's name yet till I know for sure. It's okay. I say it on camera. You feel free if you want to send me a letter or something. You're more than welcome to. I will always read them. Some of them, people ask me to read it you know, like private, and that's what I'll do. It says, Dear Sir, I like your YouTube show. I hope it continues for the rest of the year. Yeah, I've been doing YouTube now like like every day for like five, six years now. I don't plan on stopping anytime soon, to be honest with you. It says, I'm sorry that some of the boxes are a bust. And it says, please write me back. Stay safe. I won't say his name on camera because he didn't like give me the go ahead just just to be safe. I don't want to say it, but yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I actually will be in touch with you. Thank you for the letter. I really appreciate it. Like I said, with some of these letters, there are some parts in them that are like, you know, like from my, my eyes only, whenever I read them, obviously during editing, I'll cut those parts out of the video. So just in case if you're wondering. Next, this is the package. This name sounds familiar. I don't want to say it yet though, as always. This name sounds familiar. Pretty sure it does. Cracker on open. See what we got. Letter on top. Letter with something in it. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that bookmark. I freaking love The Shining. It says Red Rum, The Shining. That's awesome. I love The Shining. Everybody knows my famous post behind me downstairs in my office. You've seen it in hundreds of my YouTube videos. Here we go. Dear Clint, it's okay to say my name on camera. Stephen and his wife's name is Jess. So Stephen and Jeff, I appreciate you. We haven't been watching your channel very long, but we really like watching you since you was put on my YouTube page. As fellow wrestling and horror fans, we were hooked right away. My wife hasn't been watching wrestling very long. Me, on the other hand... Have been watching since Hogan Slam Andre and seen Bruiser Brody did battle with Abdullah the Butcher. Your Mr. Box videos inspired us to try our luck because being from a smaller town, we really don't get much around here. So we have high hopes in trying to become resellers and having our own business. We've made you a small viewer mystery box to open up on your channel. We hope you like it. It's not much, but it's from our hearts to yours. Just something small to say thank you. My wife wants to send Becky something so she doesn't feel left out. Thanks for the inspiration, Clint. Keep up the good work. Steven and Jess. So I appreciate you, Steven and Jess. First thing, nice. I love Twizzlers. It's a low-fat snack, too. Even better. 
Freaking Twizzlers, nice. I like the first thing. Let's see. There it says, let's do this. One of my sayings that I like saying in my videos. Let's see what is in Stephen and Jess's mystery box. I think my knife missed him the first swipe. I'm trying to be careful not to cut anything in here. Because you never know it might be something fragile in here. Oh, well, this thing's full. <laughs> Everybody knows my favorite bubble gum is actually a grape bubble gum. A bag of grape double bow bubble gum and freaking AJ Styles little figurine. That's awesome. Actually, you can't see it, but I have little figurines up here on top of my sneaker case. I will add AJ to the rest of my figurines. Yeah, I've always been an AJ Styles fan. Phenomenal. AJ Styles. Let's do this. What else we got? The Shining Collectible Ballpoint Pen. That's cool. Collectible pen. Twist open. Black ink. Nice. I freaking love the Shining. Everybody knows that. What else? We've got Friday the 13th. It says... Oh, yeah, you can't see it. But if you press this, it projects Jason's mask. Maybe you can see it on my shirt. Opening it's upside down. Can you see it? That's cool. Ballpoint pen that projects uh, Jason Voorhees' mask. That's neat. Then we have Bailey's. This is a slap bracelet. Yep. We got a Bailey bracelet. And last, we have some wrestling cards. Nice. I collect cards and I am a wrestling fan. That was fun. I had a little bit of everything. You had wrestling. You had horror, you had some freaking Twizzlers. Last thing we have, Molnir, Thor's hammer. Actually, well, you know, my hammer, but that's awesome. I appreciate you. Steven and Jess, huge shout out. Last package, which is actually the biggest one in this video. It weighs probably eh, two, three pounds. Decent sized box. I'm very curious what is in this. We have a, oh, this is like packing material. We have a box in a box. I have no clue what this is. Oh, we got it. This is a bunch of comics? Is there a note? I do not see a note. Yes, I missed it. But on the return label, all this says, he has his first name, Leonard. And Leonard from Louisiana. Flash number 97. Batman Nightfall number 495. I actually have this comic. I bought this brand new when it first came out back when I was a kid. Or actually, I guess a teenager back in the 90s. I actually own this comic. Another Shadow of the Bat. June of 94. I don't have this one. Captain Adam. Number 56 is August of 91. Next, we got Robin, annual number three. Nice. Guy Gardner, some DC goodness. Says February of 93, Guy Gardner. Armageddon, the alien agenda. Some more DC goodness. Next, we got Secret Origins, Legion of Superheroes, and The Atom. Some more DC goodness. Animal Man, number 44, says February of 92. That's a cool cover. Oh, on the back of it, you've got an ad for Batman. It's just the black cape. How cool is that? Timberwolf versus Creeper. Big hairy deal. January of 93. And we got Cosmic Boy number four, March of 87. Some more DC goodness. Last comic, we got Justice League United number 13, November of 2015. Very awesome. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So I think that wraps up this video, right? Is that, is that everything? I think it is. So everybody who sent me stuff, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. It's a lot of fun. I love doing these mystery mail day videos because I don't know usually anything of what's in these packages. And it is as much as mystery to me as it is to you. And it's fun to go through everything. So people who have sent me stuff in the past, present, and the future, everybody, thank you so much. Thank you for supporting the YouTube channel over the years. Thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, feel free to go down below. Click that subscribe button. Make sure you click that little bell next to it. That'll notify you of any and all new videos that I upload. And like 
I said earlier, if you want to send me any kind of package, feel free down below in the description box is my UPS store mailbox. Feel free to send me anything you want. I will unbox it on YouTube. So I'll see you next time. Thank you. And I'm out.